Hey everybody, Bayzad here, back again with Risa. Hey everyone. And today we've got another new jean to tell you all about. It's the new Blue Comfort Stretch, the latest release, part of the Naked Famous Denim Fall Winter 2022 collection. As always, we're going to tell you everything you need to know about them. All the specs, details, how they came to be, our thoughts and opinions, some sizing advice. You name it, you're going to know it. So stick around all the way to the end of the video and you will learn everything. And before we get into it, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel if you like our brand, our style of raw denim content. So with that said, Risa is going to get us started, as always, with the specs. Mm -hmm. So Blue Comfort Denim is a 14 ounce Japanese stretch denim. And this is what we consider to be like a power stretch mm -hmm. denim because it does have a high stretch. It's 89% cotton, 11% elastin. And it really, I mean, I wish you guys could feel touch it. it. Yeah. yeah. And over the video because it it's an amazing stretch. Yeah. So unlike a lot of stretch denim, mm -hmm. uh, this feels like raw denim. Right. Like it's the most raw denim stretch denim I've ever felt in my entire life. Mm -hmm. I would say maybe except for the Elephant X mm -hmm. or rather the Elephant XS because that was a super beefy denim with a little mm -hmm. bit of stretch. But for an 11 ounce, for an 11% stretch denim, it's incredible because when you pick them up, they feel dense, they feel rigid, they feel bulky. But when you stretch it, mm -hmm. it has this incredible stretch like potential. Right. Um, but what's neat about that stretch is that it's kind of hard. Like it, it actually takes a little bit of effort mm -hmm. for you to like get that maximum stretch out of it. But when you wear it, mm -hmm. you know, it just kind of moves with you. Right. right. And if you, I mean, if you're making extreme moves, you know, jumping over stuff, uh, it'll, it'll move as you need it. Mm -hmm. But uh, I really like this blend of like classic raw feel mm -hmm. with the high performance stretch. Yeah, and it snaps back in shape really mm -hmm. easily. And you know, we do at Naked and Famous, we do have a lot of offering in uh, stretch denim options. Usually 2% stretch, we, right. we do most commonly 2% stretch uh, salvage. But this one is just like another level. So oh, yeah. if you're looking for like more comfort, more like 2% stretch gives you the, the extra comfort you need. But it's definitely not the same yeah, level it's not the as same this level. one. And I think a lot of people are afraid that like high stretch denim is going to be like jeggings. Right. Not not this not pair. This one. Not yeah. this pair. This really feels like a true raw, raw denim, denim and it just stretches when you need it. Mm -hmm. And I think another thing that people fear is that with stretch denim, they don't fade. Right. Right. That's right. a kind of a I don't even know where that notion or idea came from. Mm -hmm. It still permeates on these message boards and things like that. But um, it it makes absolutely no sense because whether you're dealing with a stretch denim or you're dealing with a 100% cotton denim, what contributes to the way that the jeans are going to fade is the warp yarns. Mm -hmm. So because we're using 100% cotton on the warp yarns, on whether it's a stretch denim or a 100% cotton denim, the fact that they're rope dyed means that they're going to fade, and so they will fade just like any other pair of jeans would. Mm -hmm. And like even the thought pro like might go through your head, well, the the, the wear lines, the wear patterns might not be as per pronounced as 100% cotton, but that's nonsense because you're still just gonna, if, so long as you wear them every day, mm -hmm. you're gonna get those wear lines like you normally would. And I have a pair of my own jeans, like this is the Nightshade Stretch Salvage. I haven't even worn them that much. And I mean, you can see right here, like the wear lines and everything are pretty pronounced. Like mm -hmm. they, they look like a, you know, mid-worn pair of jeans, but you can see the wear lines here have, have definitely shown up. And this is just okay. the 2% stretch. So mm -hmm. um, the stretch on these jeans are on the weft yarns. So mm -hmm. the uh, horizontal facing yarn. So the jeans stretch more left to right. They don't really stretch out mm -hmm. on the uh, up and down. Right. And uh, for the women's one, you know how we explained about the, the men's one the feels raw. And let's let's go back into that because the, the reason why this feels really raw is it's actually really raw. When you uh, typically, when you have the high stretch uh, denim fabric, it's pretty washed, rinse washed. Um, so you don't really see a raw high stretch denim in right. the market. Yeah. And, and I was going to say, the reason right. why you have to pre-wash or rinse wash a high uh, high stretch content raw denim is because the stretch makes that fabric shrink up a lot after the first wash. Mm -hmm. So even if you samphorize it, that stretch just kind of sucks in and, you know, you might lose like 20 or 30 percent of the width of that fabric and, you know, you can't sell jeans like that. So you have to mm -hmm. pre pre pre-wash it and, you know, the customers get a, a rinse wash machine. But with this one, it doesn't do that at all. Mm -hmm. They shrink like a like a raw denim would. You'll get a little bit of shrinkage and you'll get that stretch uh, back out when you wear them. And of course, you have the stretch that's built into the fabric already right. that will stretch with you. Yeah. So 
again, this has the, the raw texture because it has the starch uh, still. Mm -hmm. But for women's ones, we did rinse wash them. So it still is a very dark denim. It's a prominent uh, feel because it's still 14 ounce, but it kind of got rid of that, that starch part out of the, the denim. So it's not as crispy. Yeah, but it is as dense. Yeah, yeah. it's very dense. Yeah. And I was wearing them, them earlier and I was kind of impressed because it's just, the stretch is so powerful that like it, you know, it, it's comfortable. It's very, very comfortable, but it kind of keeps everything in, in yeah. shape. It, it holds you in nicely. Yeah, exactly. yeah so uh, a, a great feature there. So right. uh, these jeans are going to be available, like uh, like we said, you know, alluded to, they're available in the men's and ladies fit. So in the men's, we've got the super guy, we've got the weird guy, and we've got the easy guy. And in the ladies, in uh we got the arrow we yeah. got the max and we got the high skin yeah so six options for you i think this is the fabric that's available in the most fits this season i mm. i might be wrong but i'm pretty sure i'm right there there's, perhaps perhaps there's a lot of jeans in my brain i can't remember everything uh but that said um let's go over the details <laughs> the main difference between uh the men's and the ladies uh version is the rinse wash we still have that same contrast stitching you've got the brown leather patch on the ladies it's a little bit smaller um you got the silver metallic buttons and rivets indigo warp white weft very very classic look classic feel and that great great stretch for comfort mm -hmm. so um great jean for anybody who is just looking for that comfort option or for somebody who is getting into maybe getting out of wearing a lot of stretchy jeans and want mm -hmm. something a little bit more clean and classic, but doesn't quite want to go the rigid denim way. So mm -hmm. this is going to feel a little bit more like those, you know, jegging type jeans that you right. might have had, mm -hmm. uh, but not quite a jegging at all. Yeah. Uh, but this it is... still gives you that same stretch performance. Right. This is very substantial without mm -hmm. being uncomfortable. Right. Mm -hmm. So uh, available at select naked and famous denim retailers worldwide and as always we've got a blog post linked in the description below here so check that out uh support your local retailer we've got some great photos there as well and i think that is everything so uh we'll we'll leave it there if you have any questions for us uh leave them in the comment section below let me know have you guys experienced uh stretch raw denim before and how did they fade for you let's see your photos uh you can share those on instagram tag us and we'll share them with the community tag us at naked and famous denim All right it's gonna be right there and uh now i'm definitely rambling so like share and subscribe and we will see you guys in the next video all right bye, bye everyone, everyone.